All right, everyone, and PC Unknown here, and welcome back to the channel. NFTs are back in the news today, and unfortunately, this time it's talking about how Mr. Bean is sadly bumbling his way into the NFT universe. The bumbling, buffoonish, bamboozled British icon that encapsulates the silliness of British sense of humor has now got a line on NFTs. No, we're not talking about Boris Johnson, but the much more beloved Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean was a comedic character that was created by the actor Rowan Atkinson, first brought to life in a television series in 1990, and there have since been two feature films and an animated series starring the character. Because now nothing is sacred and no childhood memory, no matter how deeply cherished, shall remain unsullied in the portray of profits, there are now 3,333 Mr. Bean NFTs being launched. Since God is dead and we have killed him, Yahoo Finances reports that Mr. Bean's NFT holders will have access to physical, for digital rewards. I also am confused by this term, but in this instance, it means you get redeemable items, including a signed, unpublished, hand-drawn still of Mr. Bean in the first animated series. We are yet to see the actual NFTs, but given Mr. Bean's comedic, awful ability to look after artwork, I wouldn't get your hopes up. Mr. Bean himself, Ron Atkinson, has voiced his support for the project, saying he thinks it's a great idea and any initiative which was not only draws attention but actually enables access to fabulous artwork associated with Mr. Bean animated series is something he's open to with open arms, or welcome to with open arms. As I had previously made a video saying that NFTs are down 92%, with many selling just a fraction of what they were bought for, scams and hacks are also rife within the NFT community, as $6 million was lost in an inc incident. On top of that, there was supposedly one NFT project that reportedly ran off with over $1 million of investor money, showing that NFTs really aren't a safe place for anyone to put their money. And the second article that I came across today showing that EA doesn't consider Battlefield 2042 an active game and the game the company has actually left the game off its active titles list. So Battlefield 2042 has had pretty much a rough time of it since it launched. Back in April, it fell below 1000 concurrent players on Steam. The game is barely 6 months old and yet like the players, even EA seems to have forgotten about it. On the company's last quarterly report, VG247 noticed that Battlefield 5 was included in its list of active games, but Battlefield 2042 was nowhere to be seen in the 18-page document, and it doesn't even mention the game once. It's not that surprising that EA drew attention to Battlefield 5, as it has surpassed the 2042 player count or concurrent player count back in December. However, this does seem that EA is trying to sweep 2042 under the rug and move on from its embarrassing performance entirely. EA's investors, however, did bring up 2042, and EA CEO Andrew Wilson said the company would still be investing into the game, but it has to get to a place where we feel like we're in the right place with the core experience and with the core game. To this end, 2042 has seen a number of additions to the game that many felt should have been included from launch. So for example, on April 19th, the game voice communications were added to the shooter and the much requested in every single first person shooters requested scoreboard got added in March. So according to industry insider Tom Henderson, 2042 is internally considered a miss at DICE. He alleges the game was a test of sorts for new features like the hero shooter-esque specialist and that future Battlefield games will not explore these features, instead opting to go back to the tried and tested formula of what fans want from Battlefield. Battlefield 2042 may have some life breathed into it if speculation that is going to Game Pass turns out to be true, a Game Pass task tag was seen on its Xbox store listing in Europe. A tag swiftly removed but screenshots live on. This is the internet, it's spread by now. Game Pass could give the game the boost in players it needs to be considered an active title by EA again. Whatever the case, the company is still supporting it with updates. Just a couple of pieces of news, one about NFTs. They can pretty much do one at this point. And seeing that EA doesn't consider Battlefield 2042 an active title is pretty humorous. Would you buy a Mr. Bean NTF? And what do you think about a field 42? From me to you, this video is game over. Thank you very much.